In this video, we're going to be doing a review of the top two most iconic brands in the boxing industry, Winning and Cleto Reyes. Right here we have a Cleto Reyes, it's a 16 ounce Velcro glove, it's one of the most popular choices uh, that we actually sell. This glove is all made in Mexico, 100% cow leather, has a beautiful finish, the stitching is very nice, very signature of Cleto Reyes. They've been making really good quality boxing gear. These are Mexican style, of course, for over 70 years. With Reyes, you're gonna find that it's a nice supportive glove, especially in the wrist area. It's a nice amount of padding over here. It's still pretty flat gloves. They have a nice amount of padding on the knuckle area. It's a little bit on the firm side. And uh, by what I've been speaking with actually with Reyes, They've been changing the padding uh, over the past year, which are now using a combination of latex and EVA. Before it was only latex, but now they're using a synthetic and natural blend to be able to achieve a more precise weight on the gloves. I know this was actually an issue in the past, that their gloves were usually overweight. So they were, instead of being a 16 ounce, they were like an 18 ounce glove. So a lot of people didn't really like that, you know. So, so uh, Reyes has been working on that. You know, but it's, uh, they're telling us that it's actually, it's, uh, uh, it's difficult to work with natural uh, uh, padding, natural latex padding, because it varies in densities and, and it's very hard to control. So that's one of the main reasons, you know, when it's a higher density padding, it's gonna feel firmer. It's also gonna make the glove heavier, a couple ounces, you know. I know Reyes for, for fight gloves is very precise. They, they actually, you know, have to make sure the gloves weigh eight ounces or 10 ounces if it's for a fight. And those are going to be very precise. By the training gloves, they will vary. It also, simple things as the Velcro strap will add an extra ounce or two to the gloves, you know. So these are little things that, uh, that, that uh, have improved over the years with Reyes. They still make a phenomenal product. With Reyes, the uh, things that you're going to see, and if you want to find out if they're real or not, or want to make sure, is the first thing you're going to see when you open the box is the smell. The smell of Reyes. Once you once you get them, you're gonna you're gonna know it's a unique uh, scent, and that's very particular of Reyes. And no other brand really has that particular scent. They they also have a nice finish overall. The leather's gonna be very good quality. They're also gonna have a tag here on the inside that's gonna say Industria Reyes, which is actually and it says made in Mexico. They're gonna have a batch number right here that's stamped on the actual leather, and that way they can source who is the person actually who made the glove and, and and what date it was made and everything, you know? They can actually track it back. That's one of the other features. You know, the fit and finish of glove is, is also oh, unique. They have a nice uh, water repellent liner on the inside, like a nylon liner. And they feel really good. They're supportive all over. And it's a really nice choice. I personally like using Reyes for bag work since it's a, it's a glove that it's a little bit firmer on the padding and it might hurt your opponent a little bit more but these are a great choice you can use them for both but i personally feel like that it's, it's more of a bag glove they're also going to last a really long time if you use them for for bag glove i've had customers have them for years honestly and they're still in very good condition and now we're going to talk about winning winning this is the ms 500 it's a 14 ounce glove in velcro it's also beautifully crafted. You can see that the leather is perfect. There's no imperfections. The the logo and everything, the placement of the logo is really nice and, and made in three colors. The thumb positioning is very unique. If you compare it to like a Reyes, Reyes is a little bit wider and shorter. Winning is longer and, and slimmer. Once you stick in your hands in winnings, they're gonna feel amazing. Right out of the box, they feel really good. Yeah, they use a softer combination of padding, but a lot of companies have tried to replicate this type of padding, but it's very difficult since everything's like uh, sourced in Japan. Uh, all these other companies in, in China or Pakistan that try to source and copy their, their molds and padding haven't been able to successfully do it. And a couple of ways that we're gonna show you how to find out if, if the gloves are real or not. The first thing you're gonna see is that it's gonna have a, a tag on the inside that's gonna say, made in Japan. The other thing that's very noticeable is the navy blue liner that they use. It's also like a nylon water repellent liner. The type of stitching that they use, you'll see it's, it's very wide compared to like a Reyes. This one's tighter and this one's wider, the gaps between the stitches. 
and white stitching is always going to be used also on, on, on the gloves. The leather is going to have a really nice smooth finish. The padding is going to feel really nice. And those are the main features that you're going to see on a winning glove, you know. Winning to me, uh, this is a really good glove. I would use these for sparring. But my favorite choice is going to be the lace-ups because they are more supportive. You can compare it here, right here. The Velcro versus the lace. I like the extra, you know, strips of padding that they use here on the, on the wrist. It gives me an, uh, a more supportive feeling, especially when I lace them up. These gloves are by far one of the most popular gloves in the industry. And in 16 ounce, they're, they're very hard to come by, honestly. These gloves go start for around 350 bucks and they go all the way to 460 at this current time. And keep in mind that weaning only make about 10 pairs of gloves per day. They do that for a couple of reasons. They'll they do that to keep the quality very high, to also, also keep the demand pretty high, and that keeps the prices high. Another thing you will notice with winning is that they actually use a heat transfer label. It's not actually screen printed on the gloves. Usually copies, we're gonna have a screen printed logo and it's not gonna it's re be able to see the fine details that you can see there in the logo. It, it, it's, it's a good thing and it's also a bad thing because we've noticed that with the years, with sweat and moisture of using the gloves, the, the leather starts wrinkling, that the labels can tend to peel off and I know that's, ha that's an issue that has happened in the past and I know that for example other companies like, uh, like uh, Everlast, they actually have a screen printed logo which is more durable but the detail is not as nice in printing. The same, the same goes to, to Reyes. Reyes also has a heat transfer label that they actually apply on the glove which it has really nice details and they can keep it nice and level and make it centered in the glove easier than a screen printing. But uh, uh, we've had issues in the past where it's some only cosmetic, but it does, the label has, uh, has flaked off or has peeled off. So out of these two gloves, to me, the winner is winning. Winning is, is honestly the best choice if, if money is not an issue. You know, you're gonna get really good quality. This is a glove that's gonna last you for years. It's gonna give you re really good performance right out of the box. And my second choice would be Reyes. Reyes is half the price of winning, you know, so definitely it's a great choice. It's gonna be uh, very durable, excellent quality, really good fitment. I do suggest you try them on because the uh, different ounces are gonna have, you know, they're gonna fit you different. Definitely 14 and 16 are a really good choice depending on your, on your, on your hand. But these are both really good choices. Just have to try them and see what fits you better. If you guys have any other questions, uh, make sure to drop a comment below. You can also subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos regarding boxing equipment. And make sure to check us out. If you're in Miami, stop by our shop or visit our website, msmfightshop.com. Take care, guys.